In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use Windows Media Player 11 to associate album art with your audio files so that they're transferred over to the compatible SANSA device. First, we have to check a system setting, and that's done by clicking on the Start menu and then selecting My Computer. Once My Computer is open, look for Tools at the top and go down to Folder Options, and then look for the View tab. Here, we can scroll down and look for hidden files and folders, and we want to make sure that they are shown. So go ahead and click on Show Hidden Files and Folders. Go ahead and click Apply, then OK, and now the setting has been changed. We can close this out now, and we can go ahead and open up Windows Media Player. That's done by clicking on the Start menu, selecting All Programs, and then Windows Media Player. Now here's my library. As you can see, I have one album that doesn't have album art. So I'll go ahead and double click on here. And now it's displaying the song with the album information. To add art, go ahead and right click on the CD and then select Find Album Info. This connects to the internet so it finds the album information based on your song title and artist. This is the CD. So I'll go ahead and click on here. And now it's updating my media library. And the album art has now been pasted. However, if you sync it over now, it still won't transfer. To do that, we have to right click on the song, go to Advanced Tag Editor. Once we're in the Advanced Tag Editor, we can go to the Pictures tab, then click on Add. All right, now we can add the image file. When you selected Add, it should have defaulted to where the file is currently located. So I'll go ahead and select Album Art Large and click Open. And now the file has been associated with the album art. All right, go ahead and click on Apply, then OK. And now when you sync over songs, the album art will now appear on your Sansa MP3 player. This is how you use Windows Media Player 11 to associate album art with your audio files.